Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Witch Knits podcast. I'm Shy, I'm a witch and I knit and do, I don't know why I always do this, it's like uh, I don't know what I do. I do all kinds of crafty, craft, crafty, crafty stuff and I like to sit down once in a while here and talk about it to you guys. <laughs> wow that was the most awkward intro I've done in a while. And it's only been two weeks since my last episode. What? Um, yeah, uh, I don't have a ton today because I've not really finished anything, but I have like a mountain of stuff that are all works in progress. And yeah, uh, any sound interruptions today? David's home today with a cold, so um, I'll try to like cut potential cuffing out, but. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just get straight into what I've been working on. This is also like I am not used to filming while he's around, and it feels super awkward. So I'm sorry if I'm like weird and very quick with my podcast today. But I wanted to film this week, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> so. I didn't make notes uh, this week because uh, I'm, I'm not always as organised as I was last time but <laughs> I'll just start with um, uh, with what I've worked the least on I think uh, which would be this um, I actually did some work on it yesterday uh, but yeah it is my Triforium sock. I think I should probably get my notes from last time because I need names. Got my journal. Uh, yeah, these are the Triforium socks by Dot Stabbles design on Ravelry and I guess maybe somewhere else as well. Uh, I think I linked her Instagram last time. I'll do the same today. but. Yeah, uh, these were, uh, this is the second sock that I am working on. I just finished the um, heel gusset. It is this fun construction with the gusset on the bottom side of the foot, like on the sole. Um, never did that before. It's fun. I like it. It looks really neat. Um, and I'm just working my way through the uh, pattern, textured lace pattern on the uh, top now, or well, on the instep, on the foot. Uh, yeah, this pattern was designed for one of the Sock Knitters Anonymous uh, mystery knit along challenge things that I wasn't in, uh, but it's a free pattern. It's available on Ravelry. I don't know if it's available anywhere else, um, but I will have it linked. Um, and I will link the uh, Instagram as well. Uh, maybe, maybe if you want to net it and can't use Ravelry, there's a way to like message her about it or something. I don't know, but I'll have a look into that. So yeah, that's the sock that I am working on. I did, yeah, maybe this much yesterday. <laughs> I was really tired. Uh. Next up, I have something else I haven't been working a ton on, but uh, a little bit. It is my, let's see if I don't want to lose any stitches, my um, Baudelaire crop top by Skeenanigans. Last time I accidentally said Dot Stavels on this one as well. It's Skeenanigans, not Dot Stavels. So yeah, um, I am working my way through knitting the body and I stopped because I didn't know how far down I wanted it to go. I need to put it on a longer cable and try it on so I know, but uh, this is obviously not long enough. <laughs> I wanted to get it to about my waist, but I want there to be like this much ribbing. Um, it is a thing I am planning on altering in the pattern. Uh, is I really enjoy like long, tight 
snug like twisted ribbing in the bottom of crop tops uh, that aren't supposed to be like loose and this one is quite fitted so I'm going to do that uh, at the bottom of this so I kind of want to have a look at how far down it goes before I start the ribbing which I am going to be doing in black so I might have to buy more black yarn oh no <laughs> um, but yeah so I think I'm going to knit a bit further down put it on another cable and then just make sleeves for it and then do all of the black in one go because I really need the colour first I might change my mind on doing the ribbing in black we'll see but that is that one I um, yeah it's it's just stocking it in the rain at the moment so um, but it, it has been um, just sitting waiting for me to pick it up again because I am working on two new cast ons <laughs> ah, I have so many things going on at the moment I've got four knitting projects two spinning projects I've got things I need to make uh, things I need to sew there's a lot <laughs> but yeah oh well I didn't talk about the yarn uh, this is by uh, Curious Stitches the new website is up now so I'll have that linked um, I said last time I was going to link the old one but it's down uh, it was still up the day before I filmed but then it was down the day I did film and upload so yeah but this is by Curious Stitches this is Killaway Happy December and it is super squishy super soft merino nylon I love it and it is so yeah soft and squishy like I said <laughs> gonna be perfect in a top so yeah I am using helical knitting oh yeah let's let's just do all the technical stuff I, I totally forgot about that I do helical knitting for this because uh, hen dyed yarn but um, and these are 4.5 millimeter needles I think the pattern calls for that yeah but yeah that is that one And because I am unorganised as heck, um, this yarn that I'm knitting the socks out of is, uh, I know there's variable difference in the frost colourway, also on a merino nylon base. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. My head is not in the game today. Like so. Those are the two old whips I have. Now for some new whips. I'm going to start with the one that is from this. I bought this um, pattern book that I'm not going to show you the inside of because it's patterns and they're paid for. But uh, yeah, I bought it's a Swedish like yarn and pattern. Yeah, yarn and pattern company yarn company god i'm so sorry I, i'm i don't know what my brain is doing today uh, but it's a swedish yarn company and they also release patterns and this is they recently like rebranded well made new logo and did some i think it's a jubilee i don't know uh, i haven't been looking at why they're celebrating stuff i'm so sorry if anybody from Yerb is watching or any Swede who knows and I should know this but um, they released this new collection called Arb which is beautiful all of it um, I'm gonna see if I can I'm gonna just do that and then zoom in the picture because that's gonna be in focus they're all so gorgeous and this is like book one out of three I think one of the books is just child and baby size patterns this one is adult size uh, obviously and I am right now working gonna gonna do this on these beautiful mittens called Vinterjek uh, Vinterjek is a flower by the way that blooms in winter it's these yellow I don't know what they're called in English but yellow flowers that bloom in winter gorgeous 
Um, and the name, roughly translated, would be Fool the Winter. Uh, so yeah, I am working on those. I haven't gotten very far. I'm on the first mitten. I just took out um, stitches for the thumb and I'm going to be knitting it quite big because um, then it's going to go in the washer and uh, it's going to be felted. God, can my brain work? <laughs> but yeah, I am knitting this out of Yarrable to ply, um, like the pattern calls for. Uh, it is like they release new colours and it's a whole collection of yarn and patterns and they're all beautiful and I'm planning on knitting so many out of these. Um, I think there's not a single one in this book that I'm not interested in knitting at one point. Um, so that, that's going to happen. These two on the front I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that for David and that one for me. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, uh, knitting this out of Yerba 2 ply, Yerba Tortrola, um, in the colour way. It's a number, but it's also called like something petrol, uh, but I don't remember. Uh, it is the colour way 74140. Was that the correct? 74140. Yes. I think maybe they list the name? No. Yes. Oh, Evening Turquoise, not Petrol, but it's Petrol Blue. <laughs> uh, and then it is going to have some embroidery on it, because I am obsessed with that, and I saw this pattern, and I love the colours, and I was like, yes, I want to try embroider on something knitted. Uh, I did the little flares on the top I showed last time. Um, and now I want to do all the embroidery. That's not just cross stitch. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. But it's also just stocking out in the round. And I'm, I'm knitting a lot of just stocking out stitches at the moment. So it's a bit of a slog, even though it's a mitten. And I could easily whip out two mittens in one day if I wanted to. But I have so much going on. <laughs> but yeah, um, not not a lot to see yet, but it, it is a mitten. It has a hole for the thumb and it is going to be felted and then embroidered on. And of course, making a second one before I felt, but hey, This isn't my colour at all, but it's pretty. I really like it. It's so um, rich and gorgeous. But yeah. Anyway. That is that one. But yeah. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to knit out of this book is probably going to be this one for me. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be my next thing that I cast on. I don't think so. But it's going to be the next out of this book. And then also the one for David. Because they're both so beautiful. I really love them. Exciting. Now, my last knitted whip is in this bag with the pony on. And it is a test knit for any of the Curious Stitches. And it is going to be her new design that is big and bunched up on the needles. Ta-da! <laughs> I haven't gotten very far yet, but it is going to be a shawl. This is what I have so far. It's using some beads, which is super fun. I love knitting with beads and yeah. This is also, as you can see, it's it's a uh, garter but you know since it's back and forth it's just stuck in it which is no problem at all but explains why I'm a bit like no I don't want to knit on my shirt. I don't want to knit on the glove uh, mittens because it's just stuck in it and 
I'm knitting this, which is a lot of stock in stitches. Um, but it is gonna be lovely. And it's a really fun knit so far. It's turning into this super squishy fabric, which is super nice. I need to stop saying super. It's like I have a really bad foggy dissociative day. Apparently, I didn't know I did until I started talking. And now I'm like, I don't know what, what it is, what, I don't know who I am. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how to word, I'm sorry, but um, I really like the colour fades in this. It is Shuffle Wooler and it is in the colour Tomspur uh, or um, colour 2364. This is the ball that I haven't dipped into yet. So yeah, it's it's beautiful. I really love the colours in this. It's got brown and some mauve and some pink and some super light pink that's almost white. So it's going to be fun to see this grow with the colour shits. And yeah, and beads. I love knitting with beads. It's so much fun. So yeah, I never did anything in this construction before, I'm not going to talk about it because it's a test knit for an upcoming pattern. But it is the um, Crescent Moon Shawl. I don't know how to show it, it's so big. Um, <laughs> out of single ply merino, I think it is merino, or is it virgin wool? It is virgin wool and some nylon in this. So yeah, that is fun. And yeah, takes most of my knitting time at the moment because test knit, you know. Kinda wanna work on that. I'm super happy to be test knitting again. So much fun. I think this is my third test knit for early now. Did the sock, slipper, slipper socks, the um, jumper, and this now. I really like test knitting, it's fun. So, yeah, that is what I am knitting on. Now, for spinning, this also didn't get a huge amount of work, but oh, well, it kind of did. I've, I've been spinning away on, on my um, Blumster Cooker yarn, no, fluff, which is Shetland wool from Garn Galilet, which is a Danish micro, it, it's called a microfiber, which is micro dyeing company. I don't know, words. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this is that one. This is half of the fluff. The other half of the fluff is in here. And it looks like this. And these two are just half of the entire fluff. But the rest of the fluff lives with my sister-in-law. Because <laughs> we're split it. So yeah, that is uh, not a lot to say. Spinning it thin, as you can see. And I'm going to either to ply it all chain ply. We'll see. Um, I'm probably going to ply it on the wheel though, because uh, why not? But this this is uh, my travel spinning. I think I said that last time as well. Because um, I, I really like having spinning projects when I travel. It's so easy to just pick up. It's a lot easier to pick up for me than knitting for some reason when um, traveling. I think it's because I don't have to look at it as much that I have to with uh, knitting. But yeah, um, didn't, didn't get an awful lot of work this these past two weeks, but yeah, that's that one. And my second spinning project I am working on is on the wheel, so I can't show you what's on the wheel, but it's literally just it started a new bobbin, but this is what I've spun. Um, yes, it's on the rolls, <laughs> but 
yeah, uh, these are the two uh, first two plies of my rainbow three ply fractal that I am spinning and I'm also filming it as a video as I'm spinning um, so I was gonna I was thinking maybe I wouldn't podcast this week because David was so sick yesterday with like coughing a lot and just needing to rest and sleep and stuff so I was like mm, if, if that's gonna be the day tomorrow as well I won't film a podcast but I might sit down and finish the third ply um, and maybe finish the spinning video this week but I just finished and um, balled this second ply yesterday like around dinner time so then nah, nah I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish that this week so here we are today everything's better he's feeling better I have a slight headache so I hope I won't get ill but <laughs> if that happens it happens but yeah um, um, so uh, the rest of the fluff lives in god I'm so disorganized the rest of the fluff lives in here and I'll just split it into little little pieces so I'm going to work through that this weekend I think and sorry the, the, the fluff face am I right again um, going to be working through that this weekend and hopefully have a spinning video Maybe, maybe next week or the week after that, but that's fun. I really love my wheel, it's so lovely and gorgeous. I did change the drive bands, I can't really show you. Um, I'll insert a picture of it, I'll take a picture right now and then I'll insert it into the video. But, um, I got this, uh, <laughs> Uh, my grandma had this tiny little um, loom for weaving little table mats and stuff. It's not like a toy loom, but it's a small table loom that's old uh, and just maybe that wide. Um, and uh, we found, oh well, mum has this huge box of like things that came with that. and. Um, she had this warp thread for weaving. Um, I was like, yeah, that, that's perfect. It's not springy uh, that, and it's quite thin. So I was like, yeah, that's perfect. I'll try it for my spinning wheel because none of us uses that um, loom at the moment. And this is a lot. And you can, I mean, you can still buy these. So. Um, it doesn't really matter, but uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh god, um, it's perfect anyway, and it works a lot better than what I did use because I did also go and buy some string, um, you know, cooking string that you can put around birds that you put in the oven. Technical terms, uh, I don't eat meat. <laughs> I don't know what you use it for, <laughs> but I bought that, but it was like terrible, you couldn't like tie it at all, it just came loose and yeah, it was terrible, it didn't work well at all. So now we um, fixed that, but yeah, we, we fixed it and it, it spins well, it spins well now and um, yeah, the, the warp thread really works as a drive band, so I'm happy with that. Yay! <laughs> Still need to get my hands on more on more um, bobbins though, because I keep needing to do this when I spin. Because um, I just have one bobbin and it's quite small. So yeah. Anyway. I had the hardest time finding a spinning wheel at first and like I've been looking for a really long time after, like for a small and not too expensive wheel and I kind of just gave up on that and started saving to buy a new wheel like an Ashford or something 
and then we went to Gotland and first we found like this place that had like I don't know seven or eight different loo um, not looms uh, wheels and uh, they were also like really cheap but quite big so it couldn't get one because um, five people in a car and lots of luggage and stuff <laughs> but then we found this small one and we could fit it in the car which was fantastic so we bought it and now after coming home they're friggin everywhere I found one while I was like at this uh, farm garage sale-ish um, on my way home from my parents last week I was visiting my parents last week and it was also like so cheap I think it was like five quid or something um, it was quite big couldn't fit it into this apartment but they're just everywhere now I don't know what's going on and I kind of want to start collecting spinning wheels but I'm not going to do that because I can't I can't fit them in in this apartment but yeah um, that's about what I have uh, for this week I don't have a ton to talk about because um, oh, I've been painting on the harpsichord I think I've talked about that before like way back um, my dad wants me to paint and the new signboard for his harpsichord it's his um, personal harpsichord so um, I've been sketching and painting flowers and leaves and stuff so um, I haven't started the actual flowers yet but I've started the leaves uh, here's the picture uh, it's nerve-wracking to say the least because I never did that before um, I didn't really use gouache colours before and yeah but it's fun and it went better than expected so uh, it's going to be fun to continue with that but yeah that's about what I've been doing I haven't been sewing anything I have not been I've, I've mostly been knitting and spinning <laughs> uh, since coming home so that's that so this is going to have to be a short one this week and mostly just straight up what I've been working on because uh, I don't have a lot to talk about on like a personal level so um, I think I'm just going to end it there and uh, talk to you again next time <laughs> Because, yeah, no, not a lot has been going on on a personal level. So uh, there's no live updates today. But I hope everybody else is doing well. And, yeah. Um, yeah. going to sign off and go edit and have some coffee. Because I can't think. But, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching and for the very warm welcome back last last time I uploaded uh, I'm really happy to see all of you again um, sorry I'm slow at responding as usual but yeah uh, thank you all for being here and thank you to everybody who subscribed as well I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah um, if you want to keep seeing what I get up to with my crafty shenanigans, um, consider subscribing and uh, please like this video. If you like to comment something down below if you feel like it. And yeah, have a great weekend and a lovely week. Two weeks? Uh, I don't know how long it will be but have a lovely time until I see you next time <laughs> oh god I'm terrible I don't know what's going on but yeah um, have a wonderful weekend and a lovely time after that until I see you again and I will see you in the next video bye